Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on October 26th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of sun imagery. If you didn't see this morning, we are showing a very large coronal hole that is turning in for an earth facing view. Looking here, the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms. You can't really see it, but in another light, you can. Looking here, the last 48 hours incoming, this is cresting into view. We do have some pretty active regions, and as well, plasma prominence there ripping away. And solar tornadoes whipping around. It's been an eventful week, but not really any major solar flares to talk about today. Look in the last 48 hours outgoing, we did have a coronal mass ejection in the outgoing fashion, and as well, minor C-class solar flare coming from that bottom right-hand side. Looking at multi-spectrum here at sunspot regions and most active, that little glitch in between, oh, sorry about the black flash, but that is just an adjustment in the SDO satellite. Here is a look at that massive coronal hole. Now that is a cooled region on our sun, and when it is in an earth-facing um, junction, this area here can produce some pretty intense solar winds and pressure on our planet. And we're already seeing an intensity in our solar winds over the past 12 hours. But amazing imagery here, Solar Dynamics Observatory showing that massive coronal hole. And as well, that little glitch or uh, calibration for sa the satellite. Having a look here, 171 angstroms. This is where we can really see our heliosphere in action. And there's a large plasma filament that is encompassing that huge coronal hole amongst the four sunspot regions right now. Having a look here at our sun in another light, just to see how fluid it is in a 48 hour motion. Having a look here, we are under G1, a geomagnetic storm, 560 kilometers per second. Our solar winds are pounding us right now. Solar X-ray flux showing moderate C-class solar flares today and as well yesterday. But it seems to be building a little bit here. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP4 and further. Having a look here at the pressure planes. This is our magnetosphere showing the solar winds hitting our planet. That little dark side of the circle is dark side of our planet. Showing here our solar winds and the pressure. Bit of a release there just in the last couple hours after a little snapback that could be ahead of some more space weather. But yeah, solar winds coming in over 560 kilometers per second. Having a look here, this shows solar wind motion and our magnetosphere in action. Amazing stuff brought to you by NOAA. This is all open source media. Having a look here at Alaska 2 showing all of the cosmic energy leaving our sun. This is the last two days of images. Looks like they're taping quickly the last 24 hours of imagery. The 25th and further here into today. But yeah, no major CMEs thwarted our way. But we do have some space weather incoming, so stay tuned. As we will be giving an update on space weather conditions and predictions. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. As we did have some sizable earthquakes to talk about. 5.9 earthquake off the coast of Kamchatka. In between the Rat Islands and off the coast of Bezimieni Volcano. Shevelich. Minor activity through the Aleutian Islands, largest being a 3.8 into the United States. 3.8 earth, earthquake there, Fort Bidwell, California, largest throughout the day across North American soil. Active through Mexico and the Caribbean plate. Still not active enough, way too quiet th through the region for my liking. After all this pressure releases, I'm sure... I'm sure we're going to see something a little bit bigger through the region and as well South American plate right now, way too quiet. 5.2 earthquake here, 
northern islands of the South Sandwich Islands. And as well, a pretty rare earthquake here to report, 5.4 in the Democratic Republic of Congo region. 5.4 magnitude earthquake, very sizable right in between two active volcanoes as well. A 4.4 there by another active volcano, Erta Ale. 5.1 earthquake just recently, Iran. 4.3 is ringing out through Greece. And as well, four pointers across the Tibetan Plateau, northern China. 4.3 ranging to 4.5. Pacific Plate seeing some activity as well today. Another 5.9 earthquake here, Macquarie Island, south of Australia. And as well, a 5.6 earthquake ringing out at Bellany Islands. So interesting earthquakes there, 5.4 earthquake New Zealand, and as well, deepest earthquake today, 545 kilometer depth, 4.6 PG. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick browse here, the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Expecting something big here, especially with our space weather conditions picking up and that massive coronal hole that has developed on our sun. Getting ready for an earth-facing view over the next few days. Watch for this to increase especially in the depth of the earthquakes. Now, the simple correlation here, uh, observed and analyzed since the beginning of this channel's creation, we shall see. Wanted to share here with you as well, our upper level winds. This is our northern hemisphere right now. Polar vortex setting up. Cold conditions, snow across northern parts of the United States and Canada. But yeah, it is setting up and it is very elongated, stretching right down to the Gulf of Mexico. Having a look here at the Southern Hemisphere now versus the Northern. Just a little comparison. You saw it all last week. Things have changed drastically. Having a look here at weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Lots of systems affecting North America this week. One over the Hudson Bay, one heading through Ontario right now, as well as strong system heading into Europe. Long-range forecast towards the end of the month. Month Watch for some extreme weather across the United States as cold fronts really start to dip down into the United States thanks to those huge high pressures moving in from the north. And then watch for pretty strong systems there in the long-range forecast. And as well, towards the end of the month, some snow for parts of eastern Canada. Long-range forecast showing a lot of systems heading into the west coast especially into the first week of November and as well another system heading through the Gulf. So heads up, stay tuned, give the updates as they happen. Overlooking Europe, eastern or western Russia and Europe. Massive low pressure systems still affecting you guys over the next little while. Going to be very gray as this lingering low hangs around for the next week or so. Very strong winds associated and low pressure systems coming in behind that is going to keep things very interesting across Central Europe, especially into the first week in November. Could see some pretty wild weather across Central Europe and then into Spain and the United Kingdom with this big system. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, no major typhoons. Our forecast here, but we do have pretty intense cyclone that will do, will be developing off the coast of Australia, heading towards New Zealand. Watching that create there by Saturday into Sunday, and then intensifying there towards the end of the month. And then some interesting systems could be pulsing some cyclones in the northern. Indian Ocean, and then another system there affecting New Zealand in the long-range forecast and a possible cyclone developing off the coast of Madagascar. That is a look at our world weather as things are flip-flopping right now into winter and Australia getting ready to go into summer. Give you a quick look here at temperature transition and forecast here for the long-range as we will be below seasonal across Canada and most of the Western United States in the long range forecast. Stay tuned. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. 
still very warm through the Gulf. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.